excuse me. Yeah, so I may have, uh, hey Guinevere, how you going? So I may have indeed bought myself a mouse pad, but I may indeed have bought myself the noisiest mouse pad in the world. See, this is what this is what it was like before. This is this is my mouse going crazy, and look at it; it's pretty, isn't it? It's beautiful. Here's before. Here is now. I mean, it's a difference for sure. However, not as much as I'd have liked, but that's okay. <clears throat> Just while we're waiting for everybody to turn up and do the thing, you're battling the sun. Jeez, that's no good. It's no good at all. Um, yeah, I was supposed to be up your way uh, next month, at the end of, well, no, this month, sorry. It's the 2nd of July, isn't it? Uh, but our borders open on the 24th, and my workshop was supposed to be 25th, 26th, 27th. So my chances of getting a flight are... Um, yeah, next to bugger all, I would imagine. Uh, you can hear me okay? Everyone can hear me? Push it a bit. Yeah, I'll see if I can push the gain a little bit. Is that better? Is that better or worse? I don't know. 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 <laughs> no, it's worse, I think. Yeah. That, that, that. Hmm. Interesting. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, 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 cool. I'm just want to make sure. Yeah, there we go. That's is that better? That's a bit hot, I think. There. Yep, 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 yep. There we go. Sweet. Awesome. So how many we got? Four of us. Whew. It's going to be a busy day. Thank you very much. <clears throat> awesome. 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 So, who else is here? It's got a few people joining now that it's just gone 10 o'clock. Say hello if you're here, so I know you're there, so I can talk to you. And um, we'll have a look at the first painting we're going to do. So if you haven't set up yet, we'll do the little watery one first. Um, so go landscape orientation. That would be cool. Hey Kerry, how you going? Mm. Yeah, it'll be um, it'll be interesting to see. We'll make sure our borders open because I really, really need to um, get back to work. And there's everyone down here is like. Oh, but don't open the borders, don't open the borders, keep them closed. It's like, well, I get it, but some people have got to go some, somewhere to work. 
Hello, Roberto. How are you, mate? Nice to see you there. Thank you for joining us. Thank you very much for joining us. Please, everybody, if you haven't already, please click the old subscribe button. And we'll be right. I'll just check that it's yours. And yeah, it's definitely your side. Vicky. That's all right. I'll just give it a couple of minutes. So yeah, yesterday I, as I was saying before, or yes, I said last night on the group, um, I interviewed Chan Disanike, Disanike yesterday, and uh, it was a great chat, very cool. And I'm editing that podcast later on today. Um, after we finish this up today, around that two o'clock ish mark, one thirty two o'clock, I um, got to hightail it, and I'm interviewing Herman Peekle at three o'clock this afternoon. So busy times. Busy times indeed, but that's okay. It's better than uh, better than the alternative for sure. So, just so you know, my room here, as you, that you can see, is I'm in the darkness. Like the the light is off, the main light is off because it just throws too many shadows when I'm painting. And I'll um, just over there, there, <laughs> Met me. Just over there is my painting bench, and it's got a couple of lights on it. Um, but it, I'm just in a cave. <laughs> it's a it's a um, it's a bloody dark cave right now. That's good. No worries, Roberto. Where are you from, mate? The uh, the kids are heading off to the library with mum, and hopefully that means that. Well, hopefully they behave for her. Firstly because she's not feeling the best, the poor deer. Um, also means that we have a fairly silent, at least first half, to the uh, to the workshop. So it's good. It is good. All right, so yeah, Herman Peekle interviewed this afternoon. So if there's anything in particular you want to know, want me to ask about Herman, or ask Herman himself, then uh, let me know throughout this demonstration. Uh, okay, so this picture, let's bring it up and have a look. There it is. I'll make it a bit bigger. I'll, um, ah, oh, good stuff, Vic. Everything working all right? Excellent. So let's have a look. So, this picture is a it's a great subject actually, but it's um, it does have a few few little traps um, that I myself am aware of, but ho and hopefully I will execute okay once we're doing the painting. Um, the little, the mistiness and all that kind of stuff is cool. Oh, no worries, Sharon. That's all right. No probs. Thank you for joining us in your how. That's great. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's uh, you know, there's no figures, no boats, nothing like that. It's uh, pure light and contrast. So I don't want to make it quite as dark in the darks. Um, so we, we still want to push them. And I want to make these reflections as clean as humanly possible, painted once. So the thing is we've got to look for is the strength in our paint when we paint the reflections. Because the reflections are kind of the star of the show. Um, but they're all messy. They're all horizontal, though, which is really important. So we're not going to be painting um, soft reflections like we did the other night. We'll... we'll uh, We'll paint some um, some nice crisp reflections, and then I think I think I'm going to lay in the haze and things. I'll do some of it with water as we go, um, especially in the trees. But um, I'm going to lay in some sort of hazy smokiness with some da -da -da gouache later on. 
So brushwork is very important with this. It's a good composition because everything's, I mean, it's it's a simple composition, but you've got the, the strength on the right hand side, everything going out of the, straight out of the top of the frame. And you've got some nice subtlety. I'll probably put in over to the left hand side where the, the uh, as we look at it, I'll probably put in a couple of layers there, maybe push, push some, um, some trees or something further back and uh, layer it up a bit so we get a bit more depth. Aside from that, I'm gonna kind of stick to what it's, what it's doing. So <clears throat> does anybody have any questions before we get cracking there on this piece? Um, I will, I'll show you what it'll look like in a sec. Just let me, it's um, a hard one because when, I'm, when I've got landscape orientation set up, I've got do obviously, I always with the reference photo and things. Bye, oh, bye darling. Come here, give me a cuddle. She's, bye chicken. Come Love here. you, have fun at the library. Yeah, right <laughs> yeah I will. <laughs> Yep, landscape for sure, for sure, Kerry. For sure. So yeah, whenever I do paint, it doesn't matter though. We'll see. Everything will be cool. And uh, if you're on the Facebook group, you should have the reference photos that I put up the other day. If not, you can get them there and have a look at them bigger. Oh really? It doesn't come up, Sharon. That's strange because it's a link just to this video. That's bizarre. That's really weird. I'm actually going to I'm going to test that because that doesn't make any sense at all. I'm just going into the link. I've just clicked the link in the chat features on the right. I don't know. That's weird. Um, are you? It can sometimes be different depending on devices. Are you on a computer? Um, computer or tablets are different and things so um, but yeah thanks for letting me know that because I'll keep an eye out it's good yeah um, chat's always there but comments aren't there while it's live but it's yeah it should be sweet sometimes you can um, turn the iPad or in different formats I don't know it's, it's a bit weird just have a play with it it's def definitely there but might be um, a bit different um, on different devices, so that's cool. Uh, all right, definitely we have um, landscape format though. And I, but as I was saying, the um, the thing that gets annoying are these little uh, reference pictures and stuff. And I've got, to, but I want to put the palette in. So I've got oh, no, I don't want that. I don't want So, you reckon you can live with that if the palette's there? Scroll up, right, 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 cool. So is everyone okay with that as it is there? So we've got the palette, you can kind of see what I'm doing a bit. Um, put, the, put the thing on full screen as well if you, if you want to see it bigger. Cool, awesome, I'd rather have that palette up the top so you can see my mixing as well as the bit on the right that the camera picks up. Good stuff. Well, without further ado, adieu, I am uh, going to start drawing up and hopefully pulling a good painting out of this. I reckon it'll be good fun. We get to use our stupid Skippy brushes. <laughs> Love it. Now, I can't help notice the difference in complexions between Sharon's and Vicky's thumbs up. Um, have you been, have you got a tan recently, Sharon? Uh, dangerous territory, I'm moving in there. I'll, uh, I won't say anything. Okay, cool. Better be careful. All right, let's have a look. <laughs> Nah, good stuff. Excellent. All right, so I am going to move over to 
my desk. All right. So as I say before, I'm interviewing Herman Peekle this afternoon. So if there is anything you would like me to ask him on your behalf, um, let me know. For show. Okay. So I haven't changed any colours from the other night. I'm still waiting on uh, my next shipment with my new colours in it. But that's okay. Don't blame your colour. Let's, let's paint tonally. That's the go. Pencil. So this drawing really couldn't be any simpler. Um, I'm just going to turn... Oh, shit. Sorry about that. I just turned the light off accidentally. Where is it? There. 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 Just want to put some light on my subject. However, I don't want it to be too shite for you guys, that's all. Is that still okay? Yeah, cool. Good stuff. All right. Roughly. We still want to get that scale in, so we don't want to push that horizon up too far. So even though these reflections are sort of the star of the show, so to speak, um, they don't take up that much room. They're about a, it's about a third of the, of the composition. So don't, don't go too crazy. So I'm just going to outline or just indicate roughly where I want everything to go. And it, it's pretty much where, the, where everything's sitting on, this, on the actual reference. So... Yeah, down a bit further. Yeah, that's kind of it for a drawing. I'll just uh, lay it on a bit heavier so you can get an idea. Yeah. Special drawing that one, isn't it? <clears throat> Skippy brush. All right, here it is. Um, this was named Skippy brush by Vicky because it uh, reminds you of the prop that they used to use for Skippy's paw that was just a <laughs> fake kangaroo, well, I hope it was fake, kangaroo paw on a stick when they wanted to touch Sonny or someone on the on the arm. But yeah, it's just the crappy foliage brush, that's all. Um, and what else can I do? Yeah, one thing I've lost that I used to own, I've lost... Um, lost my fan brushes I used to use them quite a bit for this sort of stuff just lost them anyway well I haven't lost them I bet you my kids have lost them anyway I'll just blame them for everything it's easier that way but we digress we don't need that yet we've got to put a wash on so we get mate Chinese calligraphy we'll Chinese, call it the Wuhan brush. Why not? Poor China. God, they've copped some flack, haven't they? It's just water. And I've actually cleaned the water. It's, it's actually clean. So just putting some water on here and there. We want, uh, want this to be a nice smooth wash, I reckon. But pale, quite pale. I'm starting this warmth. Bit of orange, bit warmer. Yeah, 
and once again always with your washers you've got to you're preparing for later on you you're making smart decisions you know a lot of people think this this bit's not so important but it really is it's very important because you you're laying on your your stuff that's going to do some magic for you later on it's unreal it's perfect it's what what we're after so i'm just making this a bit bluer still very watery it's a bit too gray strong 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 up there and literally just with water coming down if we move quick we'll get a nice smooth wash pinky pinky purpley thing in there Oof. Yeah, toward the horizon Ah, I forgot to uh, forgot to wet that bottom half. I think that's why it's sort of stiffening up a little bit there. With that, just this water, this warmth, because this is all underneath beauty we're looking at here underneath stuff that'll shine through and give us a great result so it's very pale very weak so the last thing you want and i may have just stuffed it up there because saunders dries a bit quicker than the baohong which i actually like i've just forgotten Because if, if the second that you start making this wash too heavy and too dark, it's it's going to lose all of its impact. You lose that light coming through. You want that high high key contrast between light and dark here. Yeah, I did. Spice Girls, it's a good one. <laughs> oh, it's true. I just don't know. If, I mean, I haven't bothered researching it, but I just, with the Victoria thing, I just don't know how it's happened just in Victoria. It's not like, it's not like the air and the atmosphere knows where the border is. It's got to be something. Something's gone on. All right, cool. I am now just going to wait for it to dry off a little bit because I just had a thought. I can do something with the, the damp paper. And I'm going to use Skip. Skippy, Skippy, Skippy the bush. Oh, do you know, here's a, here's a thing. Here's a bit of entertainment for you. Um... Firstly, I have a gig tomorrow night. That's weird. First gig in, well, since the whole lockdown thing. But I've just... I've just realised... just realised I've forgotten how to play guitar. That for you, uneducated, uninitiated, is the theme to Skippy. So I thought it seemed only appropriate that I share that magnificent theme music with you. All right, back to the task at hand. So just over here, I want to embellish just a few little soft trees and things in the background. And I'm just going to take it all the way across in case something 
um, stands out for us. So it'll be nice. Something stays there in the back. That's good. Might just bring it up a little bit there. Yeah, cool. It's going to be very subtle because there's so much water. Anyway, that's all I wanted to do. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. 40% of the testing. Yeah. <laughs> Skippy. <clears throat> okay, so start drying this off got to use the old hair dryer otherwise we'll be here for a week for what it's worth i don't like using the hair dryer um you have to in situations like this and in workshops and stuff like that because you just can't sit around and wait but ultimately the most ideal thing is between washes and things you let it dry on its own because it you know moves around and does things by magic So, it's all good. Everything's looking all right. Happy with that. Bloody blah. Okay. Awesome. So, it's all dried off. Now's the sort of time we, we need to, you know, still think tonally. We want, uh, want some nice stuff in there. Nice differences. We don't want to make it just a big black shape. We still need to have some some depth and something to make it interesting because if it was just a big silhouette of one solid color it'd be well firstly it'd be really boring to look at but it just um just wouldn't be interesting and you need that tone in there those differences in tone so i um i bought a uh a tutorial video uh, from APV Films uh, the other day. Um, I've got most of them, I think. But um, this is one that I hadn't seen before. It's one of the newer ones. I won't mention the artist's name, but I really like their work. Uh, and I really hope I don't do this. I don't think I do. But there's a... Every two seconds, it's... Oh man, it's distracting after a while. It's distracting, but that's okay. Don't matter. We've all got our foibles. So, Skippy. Oh, I know a foible that I've got that shits my wife up the wall. Shits me when I notice myself doing it too, is I do this, <whistles> this stupid nothing whistle. I hate it. I hate it. I wish I could stop. <laughs> I wish I could stop everybody. Mm. 
it's just one little layer of marks that I'm making here. See with Skippy, you get funny marks that you you just don't even really intend on making, and that's the beauty of it. That's why you you need a brush like this in your arsenal. Imagine we tried to paint all those friggin' branches and things and trunks with just a normal brush. No chance. Painting would be dry before you even got third of the way through it. So, I'm just going to mix up another dark. I don't care that they're different mixes. In fact, that's a good thing because it means we're going to have some variety. Yeah, I just want to throw a little bit of water. It's drying off a bit quicker. It's fairly warm in here because I've got the heater on which I may turn off soon because it's everything's drying so quick but any little bits just throw in with a different tone it's always good this is just establishing those you know little rough like the rough shapes of where everything's going basically And why not get a bit of warmth under here, and just in spots, so we can create a bit of a, a little bit of a green here and there. Why not? Oh, I've still got some turquoise on the palette. It's good. Turquoise makes really good greens, and uh, when I changed my palette recently just to have a play to try and get over a bit of a bit of block um i really missed the turquoise that's the one that i really missed now just with some water just spend a bit of time mucking around with this because you know it's the it's the sort of big part of what we're going to be reflecting in a second so we want it to be pretty nice and we'll put this is the lighter tone believe it or not this is the light side of things we'll go in with the the darks in a minute but hold your brush down the end so you've got less control over it and just move it around there's no right or wrong here we're just making these marks but we want these washes to move around quite nicely and anything in here that we're putting in just let it go let it let it flow do its thing all right Bit of water, bit of spray. That just keeps it going a bit. If you don't have a spray bottle next to you, <clears throat> please get one. Not necessarily right now, but just in general, have it as part of your kit. I'm amazed at how often you need it and how often you should be using it. Especially when it's things like this that you want to keep it moving. The only way you can really do that is with water. As soon as it starts drying, you can't manipulate it, so you need it. Just going in there with slightly darker, still just loosey goosey.
uh, wasn't even worth doing the background trees, was it? They just disappeared now. They were too light as I did them, so that's all right. It don't matter. Bit of blue, bit of lavender. I like that. That's cool. It'll settle down a bit <clears throat> now. My favourite brush for doing branches and things. And I'm going to go a bit darker. So I've got some neutral. Worst thing about this brush is it's so soft. It's very hard to pick up paint. But that's okay. A bit of indigo in there. Why not? Give it a crack. Yeah, it's the dagger. And see how the darker tone already is is just uh, doing a whole bunch for us. It's giving things depth and interest that we didn't have yet. So it's fun, it's good fun doing this. You can get lost in it, so be careful you don't. Be careful you're leaving enough light. So I'm just looking at it and it's starting to get all the same sort of tone. So I want to stop there. And yeah, I'm just going to tissue out, to sort of blot out a couple of bits here and there. Just so it eases up a little. And last thing I want to do is grab, it's still working in the same spot. It's not quite enough there yet. So just going back in really dark again neutral tint a bit of that indigo that worked well a bit of blue just dark and with a really little rigor just gonna put in a few little marks so my palette that is on its way from India um, see the, the fellow that, that did it sort of made it sound like, uh, it had, it had to get from wherever he was. I can't remember exactly. Had to get to, uh, Bangalore and different places. Um, but he made it sound like it had to get there on the back of a donkey or something, <laughs> but it's been all right. I've been watching the tracking. Um, it's been to Bangalore. It's been to Bahrain. It's, uh, it last look, it was in Hong Kong. It's now left Hong Kong. So, all things being fair, should have it pretty soon. So, I can't wait.
cool. Actually pretty happy with that. Just need to iterate that softness there. So I don't want to lose that bit of softness. Sweet, happy with that. Okay. Have a bit of water. I've just seen something that I want to muck around with just before I dry it off again. Or just before I move on to the reflections. Uh, a bit more green, just a little bit. It's just, I mean, it's obviously not as strong, so it's not going to be too crazy. But I just wanted a little bit in there, just to sort of break up that darkness. And that's that thing about looking at your own paintings and seeing what they're doing, where they're where they're going for you. But, uh, That was a bit silly, wasn't it? It's all right. It's okay. Cool. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Okay, we get brushes. So I've already kind of started um, creating a bit of that misty feel around the base here, which is cool. Happy with that. But uh, just want to do a little bit more. Just the tissueing. Just soften it up a little bit. <clears throat> but you don't want to do too much of it. You don't want to soften up the whole thing so you lose all lose all of the the contrast. That's a really important thing. Um, so yeah, I'll just give that a second to to settle there. Another thing I'll do: just grab a little brush and a bit of water and just see what you can create from splashing a bit of water around it why not this um interview i did with chan yesterday was great can't wait for you guys to hear it next uh wednesday is release date launch date i can't wait for it it's going to be great fun okay what will I use for this? I'm going to... I'll give you guys a chance to to catch up. I'm painting pretty quick and I keep forgetting. But having said that, most of you, most of you guys are probably keeping up with me these days. It's great. And that that I've just put in there is a bit of... Burnt Sienna, and I might just put a tiny bit of raw Sienna on top, and that's just to get that little bit of warmth going through there, but it might be a bit strong. Just water it down a bit. Ah, that's 
that's okay. Yeah, that's all right. Just wanted that little bit of warmth going on there. So mixing up a reflection color, you're going to mix a few. So I've got, I'm just going to have a light, a middle and a dark tone. Most of it's going to be pretty dark, but we need to have a few lighter ones just to drop in here and there to give us a nice bit of contrast. Do, do, do. I want to make sure that the dark that I've got is pretty uh, or fairly blue um, at its at its heart. It'll still be quite dark in tone. I want it based around that cooler side because we've got the warmth so that it's shining through from underneath. So hopefully you can see that on the palette cam. Put a little bit of yellow, grey it off a bit. It's good. Get thicker and darker there. Cool. All right, so I've just sort of essentially mixed up three tones. So there's darkest, middle, and lightest. And obviously the lightest itself will be the paper. So we're not talking too literal here, but uh, yeah, we're gonna use the lighter stuff at the top here and then get a bit darker as we get down in the reflections. But I'll, I'll give that a second before I start doing anything with that. Do you know what I'm blown away by since I've been since I've been doing the YouTube stuff as opposed to the Facebook stuff? It's just the quality of the not only the um, dropping in and out and all that kind of thing, but also purely just on the quality of the video. Um, hmm. Shouldn't. I'm just talking, uh, Jenny Graham has asked me a question here. It's live, so. It's weird, okay. So you guys can see what I'm doing, right? I'm just, making sure that you guys can still see what's going on. Are you all there? <laughs> you're there Vic everyone's there good good sorry I just want to make sure it's just weird because when I get questions like when Jenny just wrote on Facebook everything's frozen for her I'm just like well no one said anything to me for a while they're probably painting but I just want to make sure so you guys can see what I'm doing everything's all right so on your screens you're seeing the, the trees and the painting that I'm doing Oh man, I hope so. Oh good, thank Christ for that. Thank goodness, thank goodness. Thanks Diana, thanks. <laughs> thank you. 
Freaks me out when I got questions like that. All right, I'm gonna go back over to Z painting, and I'm gonna go into the lightest wash, which is still pretty, pretty dark, but it's watery. But we don't want this to be a wash. This is this is all sort of marks that are made. Um, with the, the view to, to being reflections. So we're not, we we're going to paint this once. We don't want to keep going in and out. All this stuff that's moving around on its own, leave all of that. Whatever you do, don't get rid of that stuff. And we need to keep these marks really crisp. Really crisp. Horizontal. And I'm just back into that middle tone there. So when we start getting into some darker things. And just going horizontal. This all gets a bit heavy on here. So where it's pretty solid, you can obviously make some big marks and uh, just start finessing it as well. See how it's pretty solid around there. And this is where your individual calligraphy will come in. So it shouldn't look exactly like mine. Um, it should have your own individual stamp. To be completely fair, I don't like painting these types of reflections because they just take so bloody long. Because you've got to you've got to paint them all. You can't just sort of cheat with some dry brush and things um, but uh, worth it in the end the um, the big thing is you've got to um, keep the marks really subtle now I'm changing brushes so I'm just going to go to a smaller brush and get a bit a bit more tone in there and just here and there I'm uh, just going through and darkening bits and, and I'll lift some out as well. You know, there are places that have got darker spots going through. That's all the thing we want to capture.
you know, squiggly lines is always good. Just don't be too neat. Starting, starting to make sense. It's good. Getting there. Bit of work in these reflections, so take your time. Just make sure your paint or your paper is still quite damp. Don't want any sort of real hard edges forming yet. So mine's starting to. So just from a height, I'm just scattering some. Uh, spray over it just to just to keep it moving a bit You know, get your get your shakes on. couple of different colors in here and there as well Lavender, just here and there, not much. Just trying to bit of an edge. Keep stepping back from your work to make sure that you still have the painting. You still have that reflection. It's still working. If you get bogged down, it's easy to lose it. It's just some clean water. working pretty well some water splashies Oops, sorry if I bumped that camera then it's actually my phone that's the palette cam all right cool so it's not done but it's getting there and I'm pretty happy with how this is all kind of painted itself I'm not really gonna muck around with that but I just want to lift out a bit of that. Um, I don't know, Margaret, I don't know if you've asked a question live on YouTube or not. I've just received a Facebook messenger. So I don't know if you're watching and just ask that way. But if you are watching, it's uh, Holbein Lavender that I use. Can't live without it. I'm a schminky man, I'm a schminky man through and through, but the Holbein Lavender, I cannot live without. Yeah, bit of a 
bit of spray just to let it do something for a second. It's it's all cool. Everything's going all right here. I was just a bit worried. When you when you go through and you have a look when you're doing pieces like this, you always uh, and you, you always get to um, you always go through and think that you've done done too much or the marks you're making are quite ugly and things. But it's always um, it's always pretty cool. It's it's uh, it, it ends up okay. So you know, have faith, stay strong. Uh, Margaret, I, it was the warmth in there was just some burnt sienna and a tiny bit of uh, raw sienna, I think. Um, but yeah, just tissued out so it's nice and soft. Now, against my better judgment, do I want to do the little bit of a sun ray thing coming through like that kind of vibe. Oh, I think it looks a bit kitsch and a bit amateurish, but uh, it's done now. We'll see how it goes. Are you serious? You can't see me painting? What the hell? Why can't you see me painting? <laughs> I know that's the question you're probably asking me. But can everyone else see me painting? Or can someone... Uh, I don't know what to say to that. Oh, that was ages ago. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. There we go. Bloody hell. Everything's freaking out today, eh? It's no good. It's all user error, you see. <laughs> Hello, Kanye. How you going? Yeah, I don't like those little rays I put in, so I think they're going to dissipate a fair bit, but I'm just going to give it a really light spray from up top, just so it, it you know, hopefully dissipates them a little bit more. So yeah, avoid doing sun rays and things in your painting. I reckon they're just so bleh, so nothing. Okay, so I've had a chance to sit with it for a second. I'm just going to mix up another dark. Bit of blue, bit of purple, bit of burnt sienna. Just another dark colour. Yeah, cool. While it's all still pretty wet, I'm just going to throw in a few little darker marks. So if you have a look, if you sort of look at the reference, you'll see that there are quite a few little dark marks here and there that go through it. So if you do it while it's damp like this, it'll just sort of work out a bit nicer for you. Won't look so drastic once it dries off. All right, that's it though. Don't look too crazy. It's easy to go crazy. It's not a long journey for me. Get that water line back in there. It's pretty cool. Right, so that's pretty cool. Stop fiddling with it, you dickhead. <clears throat> I was talking to myself then, by the way. Just say so no. All right, I'm going to dry this off now, so lock your ears.
if there's one thing that you should be not doing, I hope to God that you're not, I think I've taught you well enough by now, don't try and copy the reflections that are on the picture. Just don't. It won't work and you'll be there forever. Just paint your reflections. This is where you find your own thing. So it's looking all right. The two water lines here, oh, there's it's one water line. I guess it looks like there is just because of the fog and the mist, I suppose, on the reference. But it's, yeah, it's good fun. Uh, let's have a look. There's not a whole lot more to do. Um, mm, 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 mm. Um, Margaret just asked the question, am I still able to come up to Newcastle uh, in September? Well, fingers crossed, there's nothing, New South Wales borders are still fine, uh, but also um, Tassie opened, we open our borders on the 24th of July this month. So, And that's obviously all of it nationwide really is pending um, any further stuff with Victoria and whatever's going on there. So, um, yeah, we just have to wait and see. But at this stage, yeah, absolutely. I'm booking my flights today, so fingers crossed. Um, should be okay. I need to get back to work. I need work. It's good. It's good fun. All right, so there's a few little embellishments I want to do. Um, I'm forgetting about the reflections for a second yeah me too Margaret. me too i can't wait it'll be good so with things drying off i'm a bit hesitant to do too much but i want to just add a little bit of life here and there and i mean that just with a bit of a little bit of opacity here and there not just for the op opaqueness um I've just got a bit of lavender there. I'll see what else I can add to it. Lavender and a bit of yellow is pretty good. Just want to put a few little. Oh, they're, they're back from. I don't know. I thought they were back from the library. It's <laughs> like that didn't last long, Mama. And these are just really incidental things, like they're not, not even, it's sort of hardly worth doing almost. In fact, I'm not going to. That's fine. What I can do is just a little post or something. just gives us another little bit of interest not much like you just you don't want to do much of it just something little is good but most importantly these the next little bit is quite important i'm going to use some jeune if you haven't got jeune use a bit of white and a tiny bit of uh, burnt sienna or yellow ochre just something to make a creamy white but it's it's mostly white so if you have a look in the reflections on the reference there's some bright really bright bits um there's kind of no other way to to get them they're just little but you've got to paint this but paint it really subtle like you don't want you don't want big ugly marks painted with opaque paint here and we'll do two layers of it. We'll do. I like doing the the jeune, which is you know almost the same color as the underneath stuff there, and underneath wash, which is fine. But I'll do some white as well. But yeah, not much. So it's pretty subtle. Oh shit! Look how much paint I put on that. What an idiot. Better use it. Highlight. If you're doing little bits of it, 
It's fine. Works a charm. Works like a charm, even. Oh, this isn't gouache, but if you um, if you don't have the Jeune watercolour, that's fine. Just use a bit of gouache, white gouache, and a little bit of burnt sienna. It'll be cool. We'll do the trick. All right. And now I've got some white gouache just on its own. And you can kind of see this almost, almost done. Anyhow, we go, Wushka. So just a little bit. Keep squinting your eyes. That's the way to do it. Put the marks on, squint your eyes. Does it make sense? Does it still look fine? And you're laughing. It's always very hesitant to paint with it as such, but... So this is that Reeves gouache that I bought from Office Works the other day. I found a tube of schminky gouache. Let's compare. Here's a bit of a product review for you straight up for free. Okay. Uh, not too bad, but fairly chalk and cheese, really. Schminky is a lot more pigmented. That's okay. To be expected. Oh, well, that's cool. Cool, good. Ah, oh, stupid thing. Okay. <clears throat> Two things I have to do. Have to, it's the law. Um, that. I may indeed have just ruined it. I don't know yet. Level. If we work quick enough, we can blot it out. I actually think it's okay. I don't mind it. I don't mind a little red bit. Just want to make it a bit stronger so it's worth it. Uh, 
Ah. It's not working for me yet, but that's okay. We'll get there. need a couple of things up here you'd expect a whole bunch of birds to be around <clears throat> I almost like it almost not quite liking it yet almost Being a bit pedantic. <clears throat> yeah, pretty much. I'm concentrating way too much on this frickin' boat. There you go, I just want to take some of the brightness off it. It looked a bit funky. I reckon it's done. I'm just going to dry it off and take the tape off and see how it looks. Um, that red's died off a lot and kind of defeating the purpose a little bit. So I'm just going to straighten the tube to put a little something like that there. Yeah, it's all, in, it's all very incidental stuff. But I reckon it'll be all right. I reckon once tape comes off and gives us a bit of a border really looking forward to seeing everyone's renditions of this because such an individual thing uh, brush marks brushwork that you can't force it and you've got to Really, you just have to let fly. So everyone should look completely different, which is, which you know, we're pretty good at anyway. Let's just move that. Okay. It's pretty. There, just flatten it out a bit. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say, me and my my am bloody red stuff. Nah, red's good. I mean, to be honest, 
I do regret doing it on this because it doesn't need it. In fact, <clears throat> it's a misty feel to this painting anyway. So here we go. This will have either worked a treat or be complete shit. Now what we can do, get a bit of lavender, just a bit of smoke or something up there. A bit more, a bit stronger. Yeah. The, the red was an all right idea, Margaret. I just didn't paint it very well. Um, yeah. I'll put it there. That's obviously a lot stronger because it's wet. But, ah. I may have just ruined it. May not. Actually, I actually don't think so. I think it'll be all right because it'll dry off pretty subtle and some light into it. Yeah, it is, Margaret, definitely. Definitely opaque the lavender. It's still watercolor, so it washes really nicely. That's better, it'll dry off lighter. Let's do that. There you go. It's definitely better. It's definitely better. It looks a bit more mysterious. It's cool, I don't mind that. Um, obviously I'll take a uh, I'll get rid of this I'll take a photo of of uh, the um, the painting as well because obviously the light here is a bit dicky let's just do this it's no good no we don't do that we'll get rid of me so I mean, you can see that it's um, it's got that reflection there. Like, you squint your eyes, it still looks bright to look at. And on the screen here, it's actually quite sort of overblown. So uh, it should look pretty subtle once it, you know, once things get a bit nicer. Yeah, I stupid shouldn't have put that friggin' boat in. Stupid. Just made it messy. Made it messy and it didn't need to, you know. That's a good lesson for all of us. Is that you don't always just need... Not necessarily a pop of colour. It wasn't that. It was just be okay with a simple scene, you know. It's good. But that's right. It'll settle down and I'll probably be good not to look at it for... A little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How is all going with it? Turquoise, Margaret, what do, you, what do you mean? Margaret, what you should do is when we do the next one, um, I'm gonna, we'll, uh, we'll break for a bit, of a bit of lunch in a second. But Margaret, when you go onto YouTube, what, what are you watching YouTube on? Are you watching it on iPad or something? Because you can go in there and uh, 
and sort of chat as part of the group as we as we're paying. That way, I can see everything properly, and everyone else can contribute as well. But yeah, I don't understand. You've just written turquoise. I don't. What are you referring to there? Okay. Okay. All right, cool. How's everyone gone with it? It's uh results okay? Have you kept up? Did I go too fast with this? I even though I I just sort of went quick because it was a simple scene, but it's obviously slowing down has bit me in the ass by um thinking I needed to put something else in. Oh cool, good stuff. just right oh that's good because that's that's the thing like i mean even in this thursday where we do slow down a bit and i talk more which sometimes is a good thing um it's still a bit of a sketch and you know, like just looking at it, I'm not, I'm not convinced. I might, I might paint it again. Um, enough time to dry. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, okay. Point taken, as a young Forrest Gump school friend would say. Uh, all right. So, what I'll do. Uh, what time is it? It is 11.26. So let's come back here at 12 o'clock. So half an hour, a bit over half an hour. Um, come back here. I'll stop this video and publish it. And and then we'll um, then we'll be right. We'll come back in in half an hour. And we'll do this street scene. This is a bit, a bit of a trickier one. So um, we'll definitely take our time with this next one. Um, but thank you guys and I'll see you soon in a half an hour's time. Come back, come back, come back and bring your friends.